One of the best use cases, if not the best use cases for using ChatGPT when working with HR stuff is to create training programs. And that is what I'm gonna show you here today. My aim here is to create the training for managers who needs to have hard conversation with their MPs. So let's try it. But before we do that, now is also a good time to remind you that if you like this video, hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future updates from this channel. Let's start by opening up ChatD. And as you can see, I'm on the ChatGPT4 here. I'm on the pay plan. This should work with a free plan as well. And you can always utilize the secret hack where you go to bing.com and use the creative mode as well to access ChatGPT4. But here, as you can see, I'm in ChatGPT and this is what I'm gonna use. So let's start by prefacing this a bit. We now need to give ChatGPT the context. So we need to explain what are we trying to do here. And remember, this is a training about hard conversation. Thus, we need to give ChatGPT the ins and outs of the target group, how long we want the education to be, should it be in person, should it be hybrid, should it be engaging. We need to make sense of what we're aiming to do with ChatGPT. And I'll try to speed up this bit. You don't have to look at me writing and typing a lot, but this is what I'm going to do. Give ChatGPT context, which is very important for you to remember as well. The more context you give, the easier ChatGPT will have to give you what you're aiming for. That was obviously sped up, but as you can now see, I've given ChatGPT a bit of context, a bit of information. Yeah, let's see what output this yields. And as we can see here now, this is the outline that ChatGPT has generated. And this is usually how I like to structure things when creating training specifically. I want an outline at first. I want the frameworks to see does this even match? Is this what I had in mind? Will this work for the group that I have in mind or that I'm designing this training for? So an outline is always a good start in my book. Yes, you could probably prompt it more in depth from the beginning, but I really like to have that outline to start working with. But we're not at all done yet. This is just a start. This is just out. But as you can see, the introduction seems fairly good importance of this difficult conversation seems very good. And, and yeah, I think the structure in general here looks good. But as you can see, it's very brief. And obviously an outline is great, but I also want a bit more meat to this presentation. I want it more concrete. That is what I'm saying. So let's start working with that. This is obviously happening live. This is not me being a TV chef. This is not prepared. This is happening in real time. And in all honesty, I'm not super happy with the output here. It might have to do with my prompting, but I would like even more content behind this as well. So I would dive deeper in here to start with understanding the psychology behind hard conversations. And I'd like to understand more. I'm now just picking one. You could go with number two here, for example, but I'm more keen and interested right now in number three. What I want to do now is that I dive deep into the different sections and I want ChatGPT to specify. Here's what the slides could look like. So that is why I'm asking that as well. Let's see what it yields. And now it's starting to get interesting for real. Now it starts to output actual slides and it also starts to get you a bit more into the weeds of what it's trying to aim with creating these slides as well. Uh, still not happy though, so we will continue the conversation, especially uh, that I think that number five here, the managerial approach is the most important part of hard conversations, also the psychology behind it. You can influence what you can influence, hence I want ChatGPT to acknowledge that as well. And while it outputs here as well, I think it's worth acknowledging that I don't purely see this as just creating slides either. For me, this is also a way of doing research on a certain topic. I know the ins and outs of having hard conversations. I've had them, I've done trainings and whatnot. I also think it's very good to do reminders like this. You get reminded about the ins and outs of having these hard, tough conversations as well. So 
part of it is creating the action content, but part of it is also doing the research in ChatGPT, which is why I think this is a beautiful way of doing trainings as well, because you get reminded and you get up to speed with the latest as well. Now, at least in my head, I can see partly how this sort of chapter will play out in the training, but it's obviously a bit unstructured. Now I'm going to use a shortcut because I would do this with each and every section that I want to include in the training, go deeper. And I said both to remind myself about that, doing a bit of research, but also actually creating the content. But then we would be here another 45 minutes. So I'm going to use a shortcut now. Uh, this might not work. We'll see how it goes. But I would, in the end, after I've done all of this, I would ask it to summarize. Can you please show me the slides for the whole training? So I'll try to do that now. We'll see how it goes. And there we have it. Is this 100% right now? No, obviously I took a shortcut, but I just wanted to show you my method of working with ChatGPT to create trainings. One could also flip it. One could start with doing the research in ChatGPT as well, saying that I want to have this training. Can you give me all the frameworks or the techniques and tools that I can use for having that kind of, for example, that hard conversations and then build a training on top of that. But now I had that kind of in mind that this is what I'm aiming for. But I hope that this can serve as some kind of inspiration for you, that you can utilize ChatGPT for your next training session, whatever it might be that you want to train managers, employees, your dog about. Because it's quite nice to have all of these abilities at your fingertips just to create easy, fast, nimble training programs on the fly almost. As I said, it's not rocket science. I'm pretty sure that you can pull this off if you sit down and think about it for yourself as well, but just to have this easy access to get it fast, to get the outline super fast, that is amazing.